Hey, it's Scott Brown here. In uh, today's exciting episode, we're going to talk about 10 things that you may need if you are starting a building business. Alright, so the name of the video is correct, but uh, there's another reason I'm here today. I've finally got a storage container. I live in an apartment, a very small apartment. I need like some sort of garage sort of thing that I can get all my stuff in. Messy things like wheelbarrows, ladders, things like that that you can't put in a tiny, tiny apartment. Okay, let's get the obvious things out of the way first. If you've seen my first video, what to get for a first year apprentice, basically it's your tool belt with all the stuff in it, your framing gun, like this, skill saw, drills, things like that. So beyond that is where you have to build up a bit of a collection. First and foremost is a drop saw, or if you're in America, you'd call it a miter saw. Um, I recommend this one, the DeWalt. This is a 10 inch. Uh, I've got a DeWalt video uh, about this drop saw, which you can check out down below, and I'll put a link to pretty much every tool I mention in this video, I'll put a link below. This is on the DeWalt stand as well, the fold out stand. These are really good. And I've got it hooked up to the Festool MIDI vacuum cleaner. I think I need to enter the bag because as you can see, there's there's quite a bit of dust there. <laughs> when the bag's empty and things are going alright, it extracts pretty well. I mean, if you're if you've been building for long enough to start your own company, there's probably a high possibility you already have a miter saw. So um, I probably don't need to tell you this. But one thing that took me a little while to get was a table saw. Dewalt DW745E. It's just a great table saw. Very portable. One person can take it in and out very easily and it comes with this sweet metal stand. Like I said, I've already done a video on this and the drop saw, so if you want more details about those, link below. Okay, another must. Some sort of fold-out bench system. I use these fold-out saw stools. They are good. I wouldn't say they're the best ever, but they are a good solution. You can fold them up flat, they fit nicely inside the van, and you can pretty much make a bench wherever you go. Before we carry on with the other six tools on the list, look at this. This one here is my one that I've had for like 10 years, and this one here is the very latest Makita impact drive. DTD171. I uh, found out this came out, so I hit up Makita and I said, is there any chance that I could borrow this and try it out? And they said yes. So I've got this for a few weeks. First impressions, so damn light, so damn small and it's got a lot of power. But I'll do a proper review in the coming weeks. Bloody beauty. Now next on the list of tools you need as a builder who runs a building company is the track saw. I have the Makita track saw. It's a pretty good substitute for the Festool one. They obviously copied it, but it does the job. Laser levels. The first one is the outside laser level, I like to call it. 
This is a Geomax LT300 and it's sort of weather resistant. I use this kind of thing for leveling out foundations, houses, that kind of stuff. It comes with this receiver here that you put on the star. And you know what a laser level is. You set a line with that, it spins around and this receives that spinning laser. You can mark a level line across a across the distance. As you start your own company, doing foundations is inevitable and using a laser level is very important. But maybe you want something a little smaller for little jobs. And that's where this comes in. Look how tiny it is. I mean, look, it's shooting a line up. There you go, you got a line. I'll make something for that later. Ladders. They were always just around when you did your apprenticeship, at least for me anyway. Ladders were just always there. I had to buy my own ladder. I actually had to buy two ladders because sometimes the six foot one is too long and annoying. Number nine, a router. I've always had a plunge router, corded version. This little Makita trimmer router, however, is the way to go. It's so handy, you just put a battery in it, and then you're ready to go and when a tool is handy you use it a lot more often. Well there you go, storage day number one. Hey, tool number 10. A jigsaw. Pretty crucial for the building game. This is the barrel grip 18 volt Makita jigsaw. I love it, I love it a lot. I've also got the, ah, also got the coping foot for cutting copes. Like I said earlier, everything will be down below if you wanna look into getting that stuff yourself. Those are 10 tools. But really this list could go on. I mean, what was in here before? which I still have, is the hammer drill. I mean, this is pretty damn handy when you want to put bolts into concrete in a bottom plate of timber or something. Or you want to chip up some old tiles. This is super handy. And then of course there's a grinder. You need a pretty reliable grinder that has grinding discs for concrete and you know, you're gonna need that when you run a business. Also, now that you're running a business, you can't just have one level. You gotta have all different sizes. You gotta have your 1200, you gotta have your six. You gotta have your long straight edge as well. If you don't already have a battery skiller, you better get one. And also a sander because you've got to do a lot of trim work and you are sort of in charge of finishing that work now and it has to be at a good quality standard. You can't rely on the painters. Planer. If you're doing renovations, you better have one of these as well. This is a reciprocated saw. And a torch. When you're pricing jobs, you've got to go under the house sometimes and you need light. This will give you light. A framing gun is not enough. You also need a finishing gun. You've got to have clamps. A broom. First aid kit, safety mask, another safety mask, hole saw kit, pencils. Not to mention the shovels that I don't even have here right now and the wheelbarrows too. You need wheelbarrows and a bin. You've got to put your rubbish somewhere when you're on site. You can't just keep going to the skip every time. So you have to get... Huh. Don't let any of this put you off. If you want to start your own business, just do it. I didn't have all this stuff on day one. I've accumulated it over the last couple of years. Hence the reason I need this storage.